Imagine that you have a couple of values that you want to store in your processing sketch. Now I'm um, displaying them as colors here, four different colors. So basically what you can do is you can store the value in some variable. In this case um, I'm taking an integer but it doesn't matter. Um, this is just, um, just some representation of a value. So I have four different uh, variables to store the values. This is still fine if you have four of them, but imagine that you're having thousands of them. Of course, you're not able to name every single variable a different name. It would be much more comfortable to store the variables or the values in one variable, uh, which will somehow let you uh, choose which sub-value you're going to, to pick. So again, if we have four colors, then imagine that you have these four colors in one variable and you will only say, give me the value on the position three. So this is actually an array. If we have four variables here, this is just one variable and it is declared this way. So first of all, um, you need to define what is the data type that you want to store. Usually uh, they are just primitives for these basic arrays. They are just primitive uh, data types, just like integer, byte, long, uh, float, double, character and um, also a string, but of course you can have an array of basically any data type. We don't know other data types yet. Well, actually there is a Boolean as well. So this is how you say that this is not just a typical integer, but this is an array. What you do here, you put these brackets here, the square brackets um, after the data type name, and then you name your array somehow, and then you can instantiate or define um, its default value. So this is how you define an array in processing and in Java, the first line, which says, I want to have an array of integer values. So integer goes first, then two uh, closed um, brackets, two square brackets, then the name of the array. I'm using the word array, but you can give any name to your array. It doesn't matter. Again, arrays have the camel case um, naming convention and then you can define also the default values for such an array and here I have four different integer values. Note that inside of an array you can only have one data type, you cannot mix the data types so these can be only integers, you cannot have a float there or a boolean, they all have to be integers. Once you declare your array this way, from this point on the array is going to have four values and you can change the values later on. Um, this is fine if you already know what values you're going to have in your array and usually if you declare a, uh, an array this way just with the values at the beginning usually these are constants so you're not changing them uh, in your processing sketch or in your Java program later on but what if you don't know the values at the beginning so this is what you do you declare your array this way you say again integer which is a data type then two square brackets, then you give it certain name, so again I use the array, and then you say that you are actually creating a new integer array with four empty values.